In this Excel video, I will show you how to create a to-do list in Excel, complete with checkboxes, and that automatically crosses off the tasks as you complete them. And if you want, it can also color code the tasks so that you know what's been done and what hasn't. This is going to be fun. Let's get started. So here I am in a spreadsheet of some employees and some information about them. And these are some tasks I need to accomplish for these employees. Let's start by adding checkboxes. And this is so much easier than it used to be. I'm just going to click and drag from cell H4 all the way down to H16. And then I can go to the insert tab and click checkbox and instantly I've got them. Now, if you prefer, you could just insert the checkbox in the first cell, and then you could double click on the fill handle, the little green square in the lower right corner of the cell, and that will copy the check mark all the way down the range. You may want to click this box though after you've done that and change it from copy to flash fill. The difference is subtle, but it's often important. Okay, now that I've got these check boxes, I can click to check or uncheck any of the boxes. I can even click and drag to highlight all of them and I can press spacebar to check them all and spacebar again to uncheck them all. So these are working great, but I would like the check boxes to cross out the tasks that they're connected to. How would I do that? I'm going to click and drag to highlight the range of checkboxes, and then I'll go to the Home tab, and in the Styles group, I'll click on Conditional Formatting. And I'm going to set up a new rule. There are all of these other fantastic rule types that I could use, and if you want to learn more about those, watch my other Conditional Formatting videos. I have several. But for now, I'm just going to click on New Rule, and I get all of these rule types. I'm going to choose this bottom one. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. And I'll click here where it says Format Values, where this formula is true. And I'll click here. Now, I could click this button and just select H4, and then click this button again to continue. And then I'll click after the 4 and type equals. I'm going to test if H4 equals true. Now, why would it be true. Notice that this checkbox in this cell, H4, is unchecked, and here in the formula bar, it's interpreted as being false. If I were to check that box, it would show up as true. So I'm going to test if H4 is equal to true. If it is, what do I want to have happen? I'll click Format, and I need to go here to the Font tab and choose Strike Through. Click OK. Now, before I click OK a second time, there's one change I need to make. Notice my formula. It says equals dollar sign H dollar sign four equals true. It's very important that I remove the second dollar sign. Otherwise, this rule will apply all based on just H4. Those dollar signs make this an absolute cell reference, and I don't want it to be absolute tied to row 4. I want it to move down relative to each specific cell. So I need to click in front of the 4, tap backspace on the keyboard, it gets rid of that dollar sign, and now I can click OK again. I can apply it. Click OK, and let's try it out. If I click on H5, interviewing new candidates has a strike through, I know it's done. Let's say we plan a great melon party. I check the box, it's crossed off. And so each checkbox is connected to its own task. Now let's say I want to adjust this conditional formatting formula or rule. I can just click and drag to highlight the range, go back to conditional formatting, manage rules, and I want you to see if the rule that you've been working with does not show up in the conditional formatting rules manager. All you need to do is click this drop down arrow and switch from current selection to this worksheet. And then any conditional formatting rule in the entire worksheet should appear here. Okay, I'm going to double click on the rule. I could also just click edit rule. Either way, you can get into this area where you can edit the rule that you've made. And I'm going to click on format because in addition to strike through, maybe I want to change the fill color of the tasks that are completed. I've already got strike through, but maybe I want to change the task color to green or to gray and just click OK. Click OK again, click apply and OK, and you can see what happens. So this newer type of checkbox makes it much easier to create an Excel to-do list. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. But you could also support by clicking the
the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you to my super techie channel supporters. Thank you so much for the support that you give me and my channel. It's because of you that I can continue to make these videos, so I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much.